We haven't seen anything in the industry as of right now that, it, that has had the capability of taking all those different software investments that our customers are making and be able to bring them into one consolidated place. We have seen customers that have gone in to build custom solutions where they go in and they'll pay somebody to try and bring all those things together. But those systems ultimately become somewhat fragile because it's theirs, it's custom, they own it, they own the maintenance of it. Ensuring that it'll work in five years, 10 years from now becomes their responsibility or the joint responsibility of them and whoever they've paid to be able to put those systems together. So one of the key things we're trying to do is to be able to lift that burden from them and make it part of our core platform to be able to bring in not just a plant floor devices and the information that we've traditionally brought in through human machine interface or supervisor control systems, but also to extend that reach into so many other types of those software investments or cloud hosted solutions or web service capabilities that are going to be used to be able to make those better decisions inside of their organization. Typically we find that uh, software gets categorized inside of our customers' organizations as two types of software. We have operational technology, often shortened as OT, and we have information technology, often shortened as IT. And many of these cases right now are being brought together in islanded solutions. So I have my solution for HMI over here, I have my solution, let's say, for instant messaging over here, I have my solution for document management in another location, but today they aren't integrated so that when I'm sitting in front of my human machine interface and I want to get to that standard operating procedure that's in the document management system, typically that means leaving or going and finding that three-ring binder in some cases, whatever it may be. But being able to unify those experiences together into a single experience, we truly expect our customers to transition from just operating their processes to operating their businesses in real time. Some of our customers were using our products purely for human machine interface, and they're very good at that, and that's a great use for them. We had found others that had gone into other experiences where now they needed to jump into other data sources. So now I need to know, well, what's the current weather affecting this process? Or what other information is geographically located real close to this? So what people are there? Uh, what are the processes, and how do we enforce and ensure that our models of our systems are consistent in terms of standards, but the way that we execute? And so we often hear people talking about the combination of the, the people, the process, and the technology. And bringing all those together is a key focus of what we're trying to introduce with Operations Management Interface. With System Platform 2017 and the new InTouch OMI technology, we're introducing something we're calling OMI Apps. So these apps are hosted inside of our visualization platform, and they allow us to do things like be able to access content contextually. So an example of our apps, one of the things we want to do is that once you have an alarm, it helps you to jump to that next point. If the next thing I need to do is speak to somebody, it contextually jumps. So we host that app, but we also facilitate that context. So when I select the alarm, it will take metadata from that alarm and use it to drive access to that other information. So let's say if it were a collaboration app, it may tell me the people that manage that asset so that I can find out exactly what's happening on that. Or if I jump into a document management system, it can actually access the standard operating procedures for that asset and so on and so forth. Managing your business is not just about keeping in production but determining how I operating efficiently in that process and efficiently in the context of the overall business. One of the things we could be looking at is say asset performance. When you're looking at an asset performance it very well may be that I need to consider the impact on my scheduling of my plant's production as it pertains to, let's say, uh, maintenance activities. So if I'm currently in production here, and I know I need to deliver something, but I also know that a piece of that asset needs to go into maintenance, so I then may shift my production schedules. But how is that being done today? Well, today you need to traverse so many pieces of software, many, many, many times different roles, different people in the organization. And we want to facilitate that in, say, smaller organizations who don't always have all those roles. Or to be able to facilitate that happening in a quicker timeline, as opposed to waiting for it happen over let's say minutes, hours, weeks, or even months depending on the organization, can we collapse those decisions to really focus on productivity?